Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Well. Today we're taking a look at Proverbs 17 and I'd encourage you that if you've got time to read the whole of the proverb because there's actually plenty of wisdom to be found within it. But I was drawn to focus in on just one verse in particular and that verse is verse 24. And I'm going to read it from the NIV version. But again, if you've got time to spare, looking at it and comparing different versions is a great thing to do. So Proverbs 17, verse 24. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. It's interesting to me that we are told that in order to have wisdom, we must be one who has discernment. And in James chapter 1 verse 5, James tells us that if we lack wisdom, we should simply ask God. And I guess if it's that simple, it got me to wondering why big decisions can sometimes be so difficult to make. But the thing is, to have discernment, we need to be able to identify God's wisdom to discern what is of God and what is of the world. Because there's a clear warning here in this verse too. It says the fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. The fool or the worldly or the easily distracted might look for wisdom and guidance and answers in all the wrong places, i.e. everywhere except in God's word. A wise person then has understanding and is focused on keeping God's commandments and is also confident in making decisions because they search God's word, the Bible, for knowledge and answers and wisdom, looking for the truth. A good reminder here today in Proverbs 17 verse 24 that one of the best investments we can make is to study and read and learn God's word or, as it says in the NLT version, keep our eyes glued on wisdom. I bless you to have a really great day today.